Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, we are back again this week with the Twin Flame Tarot. Uh, I've got all these beautiful cards in front of me here. I know you can't see them, but yeah, lots of message cards we're using today. Uh, we're using these Confessions of the Soul um, cards by Made for Love. She's got her own channel. She's really awesome. She does some beautiful readings. We've got My Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart, Volume 2, um, that I created, as well as My Divine Love Messages from Your Twin Flame Soulmate and My Divine Confessions of a Loving Heart. Um, they're ones that I've created. So now we're going to be looking at, what else have I got? Um, White Rose Guidance's Divine Love Messages. She's also got a beautiful channel. We've got uh, Liz Harrison's Divine Feminine 101 and her Divine Masculine 101, plus her Twin Flame Oracle and her Twin Flame Soul Healing, or sorry, Twin Soul Healing Oracle. Um, also another beautiful tarot reader, um, oracle reader, tarot reader. She's got an amazing channel also, uh, as well as, um, now I'm just trying to think, Bridget Rao, okay, also has her own channel, Ocean of Emotion, um, and then I'm using some Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and Sonia Choquette, Spirit, um, Oh, what is it? Asking, asking, uh, what am I saying? Ask the Guides cards oracle deck, which was a beautiful gift from Nick. So thank you. Okay, getting started. I just am so amazed by how many content creators that are, you know, YouTube readers, what am I saying? Tarot readers, um, just so creative, you know, just so, just not only intuitives and empaths. Um, but they're just so creative in, in being able to make their own cards as well. And I just find it so beautiful. So it's lovely to be able to share their creations as well with you guys. Um, let's have a look, okay? We're going to be looking at the masculine and then the feminine. So let's have a look. What's the masculine doing? What is the masculine doing? What's happening with him this week, please? Spirit! I'm in a bit of a weird mood. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Had a lot going on. I've been really uh, low in energy, like as usual. I've got my chronic fatigue. But, yeah, I've just been so drained lately. But now, I don't know, I've got a bit of a buzz of energy, so that's good. Um, thank you also to Andrea, who has been healing me from afar, sending her beautiful love and, and healing vibes to me. Thank you so much. Um, so that's healing by Andrea. Energy healing by Andrea. And um, I will actually put her... Um, well, I've, yeah, I'll put her details in the description box below if you want to check her out. She's really lovely. So let's have a look here, okay? So this is the energy of the Divine Masculine. What current energy is he sitting in regarding this connection this week, please? Ooh, I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. Focus. Is he keeping an eye on the feminine? Hmm, interesting. Let's have a look. What is he up to? What energy is he currently sitting in, please? Regarding the feminine, regarding the connection. What's he doing? Oh, sitting back, focusing on her, waiting for things to grow between them, perhaps. Maybe he's, he's just working on his own life, waiting for the rewards to come in. Um, yes, there's something he's, he's uh, working on right now, waiting to see what happens. Because uh, he says, I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. So he's working very hard on himself, it looks like, here in his material world. What else is he doing? Two of Swords. Yes, so he's not making a decision right now. He knows what he wants, but he's just sitting back and waiting for things to happen, working on himself. Um, maybe seeing how this can beautifully grow between you. And, yeah, patiently waiting for something to happen here. Mm. I want to get another energy with that. I've been lying to myself and you deceive. So maybe there's been this running away and, and denial of the connection. And now he's saying, I know what I want. I'm focused on you and I'm working on myself. I'm building up my courage. I'm waiting patiently for the right time for things to, you know, for the right opportunity to come forward and show my authentic self to you because I know I've been um, 
wearing a blindfold. I know I have um, not been seeing things or making the right decisions, being confused. Um, maybe had other people in my ear. You know, there's things like that. So interesting. So he knows that he hasn't been fully authentic with himself regarding this connection. And he knows he's got his eyes on you, Divine Feminine. So what is the energy the Divine Feminine is sitting in this week regarding the Divine Masculine? So I'm tired. I'm so tired of feeling alone. Lies. I can't seem to do what's right. And But I am becoming my best self healthy. So it's almost like they've been lying to themselves in denial about the connection somehow. And she's been feeling alone. Maybe she's been telling herself that... Um, that she's not okay being alone, you know. Maybe in some ways she feels that uh, she stepped into a codependent kind of energy. She's feeling lonely. She's feeling alone. Um, maybe thought she'd be okay. But she is trying to step into her own power, her own independent role. Current energy, the Divine Feminine sitting in. Regarding this connection, wow, wow, <laughs> shit, there's a lot, oh my god, there's way too many to read here, I'm going to put them back, I'm sorry, but there's like 10 cards that have come out, she's got a lot to say, okay, there it is, two of pentacles, interesting, they both got the twos, so you could be seeing the number 22, 222, two, two. Um, yeah, it's very interesting, so there she is, there she is, juggling things at the moment, Toing and froing about um, not, not feeling balanced in herself just now. Trying to become better in herself. Trying to step into her own independence. Trying to ground her energy. She might have given too much power away to this connection. Maybe she felt she was losing herself a little bit. So she's just stepping back right now and trying to ground her energy and move into that independence um, of not needing the divine masculine, sorry about that, not needing the divine masculine as such to um, feel loved and wanted and cherished and nurtured. She knows she can give that to herself. Um, yeah, so some of them have been wondering, should I let go? Should I just move on? Should I just surrender to the connection? But they're holding on. So there's, there's certain things there. So let's see, what is the Divine Masculine feeling deep down for the Divine Feminine this week? What is he feeling towards her? Yeah, he's nervous. Look at that. Maybe biting his nails. My anxiety is worse than ever before. I'm constantly worried and insecure. So he is sitting back, focused on her, watching her perhaps from afar. Um, realizing that he has been putting up a mask or a wall, hasn't been making the right decisions, or even this is indecision, this is inaction. So maybe hasn't even stepped forward and, and made any action towards her, taken anything towards her. And so he's nervous. Maybe he's building his courage up right now to do so, um, to come forward and tell her what he's really feeling. Yeah, look at that. Working very hard on himself in his material world, trying to build himself up to be in king mode um, at this time. So getting himself in a good position, a strong position, a grounded position, assured, working very hard at something, a skill um, right here. So he wants to be in a position of his own power, empowerment. Um, it could be financially. It could be that he wants to make sure that he's got something to share with her. Um, yeah, if he wants to share a home or, um, you know, the masculines usually want to provide and, and protect and look after. You know, in this day and age, it's very different. Like, it's not so much the traditional thing of the guy looks after the woman kind of thing. The women look after themselves as well as the guy. It kind of works in different ways. Um, but they still have that instinct within themselves usually to want to be the man, the masculine, take care of things and fix things and make sure everything's all sorted and organized. And I guess that was that I get that with him. That's what he wants to make sure that he's 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 organized in his own life. He doesn't want to be a mess. He doesn't want to be indecisive or in and out or one foot in, one foot out. He doesn't want to do that. 
he doesn't want to keep deceiving um, or giving mixed signals or hurting this, you know, by doing that. And he's feeling quite nervous because there is something he wants to come forward and say. What does he want to say? Let's get it. All right, let's have a look. What does he want to say to her? You are all I've ever wanted. Okay, I want to be myself with you. So he has been not, not being his authentic self with her. Because he hasn't been that with himself either. And let's live together. Wow. So you're talking about the home. There is nobody else in my heart. And you make me feel safe and warm. Because maybe she's, you know, the way he was acting made her question. Am I even making, making him feel like... Um, good, like that he's, you know, am I even good enough for him? Am I making him feel welcome? Um, am I like a warm home to him? You know, that's what the Divine Feminines have been questioning. So what else does he want to say? I'm going through the dark night of the soul. So there's changes going on for him. He's letting go of old stuff. He's shedding the old masks, skins, disguises, uh, the old, okay, way of being. I'm getting ready to fight for this connection. Yeah, there's a nerv nervousness about it. I'm working on myself so that I can love you the way you deserve to be loved. Isn't this beautiful? Wow, it's so in line with what we're saying. So let's see, what is the Divine Feminine feeling towards her Divine Masculine? Deep down, right, this week. What is she feeling? I love the sweetness of your soul and the taste of your kisses. Sweet. Ooh, look at this. Desire. I miss the way you taste. Those soft lips on my face. Your warm embrace. Everything you gave. So she's definitely missing the kisses. Look at the lips here. Uh, those soft lips. The way you taste. Um, yes, yeah, soft lips on my face. Sweetness of your soul and the taste of your kisses. So she's definitely missing the, the passion. Um, between them the closeness the intimacy definitely yeah feeling very strongly about that queen of cups wanting to come in with that strong emotion it's not just fire and desire and passion it's also strong deep emotion wanting to take care of him wanting to nurture him wanting to express her love for him even through touch even through kisses you know um and I meant to say before, the king, or where is it, the king of pentacles, I see it as the Taurus energy. Okay, Taurus. And this is with the queen of cups is the cancer, which is all about home and family as well. So interesting. So let's have a look then. What does she want to say? What does the divine feminine want to say to him? I am understanding that we are learning from each other. And I hate that I get so triggered by you and our connection. So this is why she's feeling lonely. There's something that's happening over here. Not that it's his fault, but, you know, there's something that he's, the way he's coping with something or has been, has triggered some reaction within her that she's not feeling very good about herself with. Um, she's getting triggered by it. And she's, and she's, and I think it's this loneliness, feeling alone, um, Feeling that she's telling herself that she's okay when she's not. Holding on when she doesn't really want to be holding on um, out of insecurities. Um, this is more of a thing of I want to work on myself as well. I hope you change. I am becoming stronger and stronger every day. And I miss talking to you about the little things. It's those things that mean so much. <clears throat> so she might be saying, look, I don't really want to get into the whole deep and meaningfuls right now. We're not ready. Uh, it doesn't work, you know, uh, at the moment. We just need to, um, like even just the little things. She misses it. Like, how are you today? And, and giving him a hug and a kiss and just being in his presence. Uh, she's becoming stronger, becoming healthier, you know. Just hearing about his day. You know, maybe a TV show he really loves and wants to watch with it. Like, she misses all those things. So what else is she saying to him? Because maybe things have gotten serious, okay? I've been caught 
in a cycle of pain and betrayal for such a long time. It wasn't you. So there has been other core issues, okay, within the Divine Feminine that this situation has triggered within her. It's not that he created um, the feeling of betrayal or abandonment or insecurity. There's something that's been ingrained in her maybe from childhood uh, or past relationships that uh, it's not helping when he is reacting or, or taking, you know, maybe the inaction is, is affecting her. Maybe there's a silence there that's affecting her. You did it. You cracked open my heart. So maybe maybe the Divine Feminine was closed off for a long time. Uh, very wary about loving again. Very cautious about bringing in someone back into her life, into her home, into her circle, into her heart, her soul. And to have this beautiful bond, this sweetness, this passion, um, this love, this vulnerability, all those things between them both. And, and if he's shut down or if he's just not sure what he wants, it's like a slap in the face for her. And it's not anything bad that he's done. But, you know, this is maybe all he knows how to deal with because he doesn't know how to deal with it any other way. And he's learning, he's growing, he's trying to find other ways. Um, but, yes, she's definitely feeling that as a result. Um, so we're going to see what does he actually want, okay, this week with her. What does he want? So independent, I admire your freedom to be who you truly are. And healing, I know we can fix what has, what has uh, broken, all right? So interesting this because he's saying you, we both need to find our independence and heal ourselves. It's not up to each one to heal each other, you know, and depend on that because then it becomes codependent. He, he's saying we need to heal our hearts separately from each other, our own issues that, are, that were never really um, generated from the other, okay? It's just that we're triggering things that are already within us. And it's not that he doesn't want to support the Divine Feminine, but I think he doesn't want to have to be responsible um, for past pain that she has unresolved within her like he doesn't want to be feeling like it's his fault for all of the pain that's within her um so yes he he, he would really love it if you know what he wants is for her to grow strong and he admires her and he sees that she can be a strong confident feminine um who can take control of her own world um and healing because she's got a beautiful light within her and he sees it wow I'm not taking the ones that are down because there's too many. But once again, the two of pentacles, that was her energy. All right, two of pentacles. Balancing things, grounding energy. He wants, he wants balance, okay? She wa he wants her to become balanced in herself. Um, yes, it reminds me of the temperance energy with the healing. It's tempering the energies. It's not a high and it's not a low. It's, it's kind of in between. And, and knowing what, you know, she, he obviously wants to come charging in towards her and sweep her off her feet and take her away. <laughs> you know, he might, do, he might be visualizing, you know, coming in and, and going on a trip away with her or going on a drive together somewhere. But I feel like he's saying here too, like, I want you to be sure of what you want as well. And, and I want to be sure of what I want um, to make this work. So what does the Divine Feminine want this week with the Divine Masculine? So this is love. She says, I'm so madly in love with you. She wants to be in love madly, <laughs> okay, with each other. Like she already is. But that's what she wants for them both to be that way, to both openly express that. Yeah. Divine Feminine, what does she want? Look at this, Ten of Pentacles. This is the legacy, the home, the security. It's the happy marriage. It's the strong, long-term commitment. That's what she wants. That's exactly what she wants. Something that's secure, stable, okay, between them. So what action will the Divine Masculine take towards the Divine Feminine this week? Wow. Wow. Okay, so he is feeling guilty, he's feeling bored, envy. So he's not in a very good headspace with all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so he's not feeling good about himself. He's riddled with guilt over perhaps how he's handled things. 
he's been very complacent perhaps he's going to be he's going to be feeling these things okay maybe feeling envious um about other people around him that they're where you know this is kind of like him looking up to other masculines perhaps and thinking geez they got themselves way up here and they've got their life sorted and everything and i'm down here and i'm just starting up because don't forget he's going through a dark night of the soul and when you go through a dark night of the soul um your reality is not really your re like it's 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 like an illusion it's like you're looking at your reality like holy crap this is all an illusion and it's like it starts to crumble around you. Everything that you believed in, your values, morals, everything. Um, everything that you were striving towards, you realize this is not really what I want. And what's it for, you know? So, for instance, if someone's in a corporate role and they're just, you know, going up the ladder, ladder, ladder. And it's about money, money, money and career and status, promotions, blah, blah, blah. All that kind of thing, right? Which is not a bad thing to, to, to do. But some people realize at the end of the day... I have achieved all this stuff, but what for? I'm not satisfied. It's not satisfying my heart and my soul. And then one day something happens and they lose their job and they come down to this status, right? They feel like they're down here with nothing. They might have gone bankrupt or something. And they have identified themselves through this image, okay, this lifestyle. And they now have humility. They now have compassion for people and empathy, whereas before they might have been looking down on people. This is just an example, okay? Not everyone's like this in a corporate industry, but it's just an example of how some people are. Sometimes they've got to crash everything around them in their world that they thought uh, was strong or where they wanted to be is not actually where they want to be. And they, they learn humility down here. They learn that, okay, I've got to start from scratch and, and work out what my values truly are. What do I really want? And that's what he's doing, focusing on the things he really wants. He might have been pushing away this connection. He might have been in denial of his feelings. Um, he might have been just striving for things that just weren't really uh, in line with his heart and soul. So he's feeling guilty about this stuff. He's feeling envious about other people who have happiness, like true happiness in their life. It doesn't have to even be um, business related or anything, but it could be because it looks like he is trying to build up that all that as well. But even if he has all that already, he's envious of other people who have true happiness, okay, in other areas. Maybe, maybe... Um, when it comes to someone being in a marriage, you know, for many, many years and they're happy, if he's gone through a divorce, he's going to feel like a failure to his children. If he's got children, maybe a failure anyway. Um, so there's, there's a lot of this in, uh, internalizing and he's trying to work out who he is and where he stands in the world. What is his status? What can people admire him for? He might feel like he's not really much to look at um, or that no one can really look up to him. So he's trying to find his values um, here. He may have been or is maybe now or going to be because it does look like this this week especially that he's just in a lull, that he can't really work out where he's meant to be, where he's meant to move to, what he's meant to move towards next. Um, so he may not be moving towards the divine feminine with any kind of promise, commitment, even opening up intimately, um, sharing feelings, moving into anything. It looks like he's, he's take like he's, uh, in a, in a state of inaction right now, feeling nervous, biting his nails, trying to work out how do I, um, approach this with her? How do I approach my life, um, to get to where I want to be? So he's really a bit lost right now. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Look at the steps going up like the ladder, right? Moving upwards. But it's interesting the smile here. He might even just laugh at his situation in some ways. Like it's so serious, it's laughable. It's it's like it's like a situation. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. And I feel like he is actually undergoing some kind of identity uh, I suppose you could call it like a crisis. I think this came up in the last reading, although this is a bit lighter than the last reading. Um, but yeah, it definitely feels like there's some spiritual, wow, there's some spiritual um, values here that he's looking at as well. He might do some meditating. He might take on yoga or there's a lifestyle change going on here. And there's a lot of lessons here as well for him. He might be changing his faith, his religion, you know, really questioning things, getting philosophical about his life, really going within. Um, reflecting on things. This is a Taurus energy as well. So this is very interesting. And this is Cancer. Cancer and Taurus has come up very strongly in this reading. And it's all about 
material items, possessions, um, you know, uh, that's what it usually is about with Taurus. It's about the beautiful things, the luxurious things. So maybe he's realizing the materialistic world is not really for him anymore. Um, you don't have to have all the nice shiny things, but maybe he's still just trying to, you know, uh, find himself through all of that because maybe in some ways he does feel like he's uh, less than because he doesn't have all those things. So it's kind of like a catch-22. On one hand, he um, there's two people I'm reading for here. There could be a masculine who's got all of that, all the riches, all the things, and he's still not satisfied and he's not happy with what or where he's at. He thinks he should be feeling really good because he's gotten to that point, but really he's not feeling fulfilled. And then there's the other masculine who doesn't have those things, who feels like he should have had those things, should be at that point right now, feeling like a failure, and yet still trying to find that satisfaction. Um, and... Yes, at Dark Night of the Soul, Spiritual Awakening, all things are happening right now for him. So he's, he's not necessarily in a very heavy, dark place, but it's definitely changed and things a little stagnant, having to reflect, having to try and look through the confusion um, as to where the next step is to be. And what's this other one that came up? Yes, look at that, King of Wands. This is a Leo energy. So he's trying to get into this strong, confident leadership role. Um, this is the action he's taking, don't forget. So it looks like spiritually he's going to feel strong. He, he may even be on a path that he's starting to learn. He might have to go out and bloody, you know, <laughs> what am I saying? Like sometimes divine masculines need to take off for a while, go bush, maybe go camping um, with the boys or by themselves. There's just something they need to do to get out and put this energy somewhere. So it does look like to me that he is going to be uh, strong with the faith because we do see focus here. He is focused on something. He has been working on himself. But he is battling these things here as well. So he's trying to overcome it, trying to laugh off situations like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened to me. Um, and yet he is trying to be very optimistic about a future here and have courage, right? That's something he's doing is having courage to face something. It's interesting he's got the lizard on his shirt here too, like it's a gecko. And it can represent dream time, okay, dreaming. So it's like going into that space um, within yourself where you're going on a vision quest and you're trying to find your way and letting spirit guide you. And I think in some ways he is uh, looking to a higher power, a higher being to help him to navigate through things. So it could be like a surrendering going on here as well, that he will be where he's meant to be and he's, he's overcoming these feelings of guilt, boredom and envy and things like that because they don't matter anymore. So that's something that's going to come to him, that epiphany, I feel. So let's have a look. What is the Divine Feminine going to be doing this week? Well, they're both in a good energy, like in the end he will be. But yes, she's, look at this, your light helped to guide me out of my darkness. So she has been in a bit of darkness with that loneliness, denial, whatever, excuse me, trying to, like, toing and froing, do I let go of this, do I hold on, like, I'm sick of this, and yet her light is shining through, and I think that's beautiful, and she's saying that she can see this light, that this torch, okay, that he burns for her, this flame, the twin flame, like, he, she can see it in her dreams, in her waking state, she can feel, you know, his warmth, even through the, the coldness sometimes and the loneliness, she knows there's a, a torch burning for her, a flame burning, and she has been working on herself as well, getting healthy and independent and moving forward as well through all this other stuff here. So that's amazing. It's really good. So things are going to illuminate, be illuminated for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. There's an epiphany coming for each one this week about their lives. Um, yes, but she's still not going to be revealing very much. So... Yeah, she's still gathering information, learning lessons, um, learning about herself, maybe writing down things, um, journaling uh, ideas, maybe um, something she's doing in silence. Okay, she's not necessarily 
it's almost like she's also waiting and, and just seeing if there's a message coming f to her or a response to something. But she's not necessarily going to be jumping in chasing this at all. Like she's working on herself. I do want to get another one on that one. And that's the Gemini energy. Yeah, so look at this. Angel, oh, I love this. Angel de la nuit. This is also the angel of darkness. This is the angel that comes in and overlooks things and protects you when you're in a time of darkness. So things are illuminating for her. This is amazing. So there's going to be some information, some idea that comes to her that's illuminated for her. To not take things personally, perhaps, as well. The Divine Masculine says, I want you to be happy. Look at that. He knows. You are my twin flame. If he doesn't know the label, his, his higher self is saying, I know you are my twin flame. I want you to be happy no matter what. And he says to her, you will always be in my heart. And the Divine Feminine says, when I think of you, I smile. And be kind to yourself. Yeah, she wants him to also just take care of himself. And she says, look inside yourself. So yeah, she definitely wants him to do that inner work. Um, and you are the one. Oops. And he says to her, your words keep ringing in my head. So there's something that she said to him that's really hitting home with him. It's making him really process and think things over. And I believe you. Yeah, so whatever she said to him, he actually believes that it has merit and that it is worthy to listen to. Like, she, he believes the things she's told him and has said to him. Give in. Give in for my touch, for my taste, for my lust. And what did she say? She misses his taste. <laughs> so that's so funny it's coming up. And I want to travel the world with you. So, yeah, he wants to explore things and have an adventure with her as well. And the Divine Feminine says, I know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns within me. So she knows that, you know, also they're twin flames. They are of the same essence. I am burning with passion for you and you are worth fighting for. Yeah. And my whole body burns at the thought of you. Wow. There's so much passion Seriously, look at this burns, burning, burns and this desire before. Like she seriously is actually really yearning and burning for him. It's, just, it's a, it's a um, fire in her belly, in her soul for him. And he says, if I came back now before I am ready, I would only hurt you more. And I'm losing grip and need to be on my own on my own for a bit. I hope that you will wait for me. Very interesting because he is needing to go off on his own. And the Divine Feminine says, it's been raining since you left. All I see are grey skies. So that illumination's coming through. That light is shining through for her very soon. And I haven't been my normal self for some time. I don't know who I am anymore. I have lots of healing to do. So she's also at that place where she's having a bit of an identity crisis, trying to work out where does she fit in with things. And so the Divine Masculine says... If something were to happen to me, oh my God, this is so sweet. Oh, know that I would be your spirit guide, always protecting you. That is so sweet. Oh my God. And he says, I can't keep my eyes off you. You are so beautiful. See, we see that binoculars focus. He is keeping an eye on her. And you are often on my mind. I have hot fantasies of you and I. So he wants her to know that, yes, he does desire her. Um, you are so sensual and sexual, it drives me wild with desire. I love you more than I have ever loved anyone. And the Divine Feminine says, what does she say? I am so grateful for even knowing you. You are so awesome. Oh, this is so sweet, really. And baby, you're the one I love. You're the one I need. I will choose you every day and always. Oop, that one's coming out. And let's lay back, look at the stars and talk about our dreams. Every fiber of my being says yes to, our, to creating an amazing future with you. And we are so awesome together. You're my best friend and lover all in one. 
so gorgeous that really is and so let's have a look then divine masculine wowies things are flying down uh the promise your love is truly meant to be and he's promising this to her he knows they're meant to be he's working on himself he doesn't want to come in and commit to something when he's not yet ready the divine feminine well look at this luck is on your side so beautiful so when you're seeing the ladybugs and i had a dream about ladybugs the other night um, there were so many of them in my dream and they were on my arm crawling on me and someone else that was in the dream and then they were falling on the ground. But this is saying luck is on your side, Divine Feminine. You've got fortune, all right? There's good things coming, blessings coming in. And the advice card for the Divine Masculine response, respond with love. How you react or respond to a situation tells you what energy you are in. And I think he's reflecting on that now. I think he's starting to look within, feeling guilty, okay, uh, about the way he has responded um, or, re or reacted or not responded, okay, to something. And he's starting to recognize that and um, wants to do better. And the Divine Feminine intrigue. The universe is showing you signs. Get excited about your situation. Adventure awaits when you follow your heart. She has to start living and becoming vibrant, okay, and excited about life again. Uh, because she shut down a little bit, you know, so there's just that again. And I meant to do for the journey too. Where's the journey? So we're doing it for the journey here. Look, leap of faith and new start. So they both have to become independent, heal themselves, find their happiness uh, apart from each other. And a new start can occur between them. And so the divine masculine... Oh, look, he wants to reconcile. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This is telling me that he wants to reconcile, okay? He doesn't want to let this go. And the Divine Feminine, wowies. Oh, hang on. Oh, look. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So she knows. She knows that they're soulmates and twin flames and all that. <laughs> they're soul connected always. So Divine Masculine... What do you want the Divine Feminine to heal within herself? What do you think she needs to heal? Yes, she's exhausted and depleted and needs divine helpers. You might be calling in or praying for those in heaven, um, the celestial beings, spirit guides, angels, um, ancestors, whoever. He's praying maybe to God for, for them to come in and help her, to, to bring her back to life. There's so much depletion here of energy. And this is the heart chakra too, the heart color. So it's, it's very interesting that he wants her to be healed. He wants her to be vibrant again. Um, yes, he does understand. Wow, that just flew out. That was weird. <laughs> that was so weird how that happened. So yes, he wants also for her to see the truth of her beauty, of the light that shines within her. He, she, he wants her to be reminded of how beautiful she is um, and for her to tap into her higher self. All right, so the Divine Feminine... I'm going, yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, bravado. She wants the divine masculine to, to fight for his own, um, to stand up and fight off things that are affecting him that make him feel less than. She wants him to feel brave and like a warrior come in and cut away with that sword anything that's getting in the way of, their, of his happiness as well as their connection, okay, the happiness of their connection as well. All right, it's been a bit of a long reading, but we're going to quickly get some cards. Uh, what am I saying? Um, charms and stuff here. Let's have a look. I'm going to get attributes as well, like I normally do. I will get these first, actually. Is there anything we need to know, please? All right, we've got the little wine bottle, a wine glass, I should say. So maybe he wants to drink wine with you. Someone might drink wine. Um, once again, money, status, uh, focusing on that, trying to heal issues around that. Uh, look at this, so beautiful. We've got the guardian angels, so definitely praying to the angels. Um, there are angels looking after this connection. You're not going to believe what this is. <laughs> A lady beetle. Oh my God, this is so funny. So luck is on your side, but I have always seen lady beetles as a, like a special little companion that just comes in from nowhere. So you might have 
angel helpers or or some kind of help that just comes in as a blessing okay into your lives I've got the turquoise which is all about protection it's the throat chakra as well so the words will come to both of you when in at the right time you will both have this beautiful conversation this healing conversation someone has been seeing things in black and white uh, there could be an African connection here as well safari <laughs> which is interesting because we saw that king of wands with the um, the lion and, and like the desert so that was interesting so yeah it could definitely be a connection there um, we've also got here the Sagittarius energy and optimistic. So yes, someone's trying to be optimistic in this. And we've got Alexander the Great. So someone's name might be Alex, Alexander, Alexandra. But look at the chariot, right? Coming in boldly, um, courageously charging forward. And I think that's how the Divine Masculine definitely wants to be in this. We've got the comb. So someone could be a hairdresser, barber, um, really just paying attention to their hair and their image right now. Might get a haircut. Uh, we've got the butterfly, which is all about transitions, transformation. So things are transforming. It's quite beautiful. Someone wants to get a butterfly tattoo. And we've got another guardian angel. So there's definitely angels surrounding your love, your connection, protecting you guys. This reminds me of like the judgment card as well in terms of renewal um and letting the past go healing from it and also someone might be a musician okay that's what that could be as well someone wants to put their clothes in your closet they want to live with you that's definitely what that's telling me and we've got the bird here like the dove i think it is it's like a peace dove right the peace is coming in the healing as well as a messenger okay uh, words of faith are coming through here someone might want to be singing something uh, go to church that kind of thing uh, we've got the star here it says here just for you so you know you are just for each other they might want to make something just for you and there's a pine cone so someone is pining after you but there could be pine cones near where you live as well something could be there around that um, we've also got that this something karmic tie is going to break which is awesome and we've got here the uh, Sir Donald Bradman okay cricketer in Australia uh, someone might wear a hat like that. Someone's name might be Brad or Don. Sunday could be a significant time as well for someone like a day. Uh, we've got Leo as well here. And Leo, which is generous. You know, want to be generous, generous with each other when you do come back or when you're able to commit more to this and gain that courage as well to come forward and be brave. Okay, my phone died, but I just... Um, saw this just sitting by so this is a filter right so someone could be smoking or filtering their words right now and we've got also a dolphin and a seahorse so marine life is important to somebody maybe you live near the ocean uh you could be overseas from each other it's all about soulmates and play youthfulness with the dolphin as well and also with a seahorse you know usually it's um someone wanting to take a bit more responsibility as well especially the masculine. I think the masculine or the male seahorses, um, what do they do again? I think they carry the babies. There's something that they do. They um, take on more responsibility, which is really interesting. And I think they're monogamous too. <laughs> Sounds funny. Um, but we've got the five cent coin and the echidna, which is also about play. It's children, youthfulness, uh, as well and you don't want to be prickly with each other so it's just learning how to to deal with each other in that way or deal with those reactions uh, 1980 could be a significant date uh, someone's birth date perhaps and we've got Elizabeth Liz Lizzie Beth Betty uh, I'm just going to get the rune meaning for that one um, let's have a look here So it says here, this is the rune of protection, victory, new opportunities and challenges. Be strong and take control of your emotions. Okay, that's very amazing. So there's protection coming. You're taking control of your emotions together. Um, let's get some attributes. Okay, I'm so sorry this is blurred. I don't know why the hell this is happening lately. It's driving me nuts. Let's have a look. Something fell on the ground, did it? Let's have a look. That seriously, 
I don't know. There it is. Okay. Coffee date. They might want to join you for a coffee date. You know, take you out. Um, just have a nice talk about whatever. Maybe keep it light and casual. Uh, we've got sporty person right here. Someone might play sports or be very fit and active. Uh, we've got adventurous person. Yeah, very interesting. So maybe extroverted in some way. Smooth voice. Uh, big transitions are going on here. And we've got a cleaner. So someone could be a cleaner. Um, trying to clean up their life as well. Secret admirer. Yeah, secretly admiring you, especially the masculine, like he's looking at the feminine. <laughs> Southeast could be where they live from you or vice versa. Celebration coming up, so it could be a party. Um, yeah, something that's... What are, we, what are we in now? Well, it would be maybe Christmas next, wouldn't it? Trustworthy. But this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're watching it. Um, but yeah, trustworthy person. So they want to prove they're trustworthy. Maldives could be somewhere they want to take you or go to. Throat chakra. Once again, that throat chakra came up before. Look what we got here. You wouldn't believe it. Cancer, which is a Cancerian sign. Crying together. So healing together through this. Confident. Yeah, coming through confident. Rides a bike. Could be a bicycle or a motorbike. Uh, Antisocial, someone has been. Uh, so yes, definitely trying to sort themselves out in that space. Vegetarian, someone that might be changing their diet as well. Mentor. So they could be a mentor for others because of what they're going through um, or may need a mentor. Okay, They might see you as a bit of a mentor and look up to you. Singer, someone sings. LGBTQI communities coming through and we've got Papua New Guinea. And we've got interstate. So someone could live in different states. We've got Queensland, Australia. And we've also got fireplace. Someone might have one. They might envision being with you in front of a campfire or a fire. They want to have fun with you. And they might be very poetic. Someone's very poetic. Wants to write poetry, perhaps. Um, or might share it with each other, too. That's an M. So we've got a H and a P. Y, Q, A, B, M, O, L, U, W, and D. Just making sure nothing else has come out. So they want to hold you. I've got H-O-L-D. They want to hold you. Where am I? H-O-L-D. Yeah, they, they really want to hold you. They're really missing you. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting first up here. Someone might have a boy. Divine Masculine could have a boyish charm. Um, someone might have a dam near their property or on their property. Or, you know, yeah, it could be a dam. Uh, someone could be mad at the other one. So you might be feeling a bit frustrated and angry at each other right now. Or at times they can feel it when you are or vice versa, you know. Um, you can feel it when they are. And it really does affect both of you when the other one's not happy. Um, we got pad, so it could be that um, I, I got the word bachelor pad for the masculine, so it's a bit like that. Maybe he's living a bit of like his life is a little bit like he still wants to hold on to that single kind of life, and he might be afraid of di diving into some kind of huge, you know, commitment. But he also wants it, so it's it's yeah, it's it's just that transition uh, that he's going through at the moment as well. Yeah, it's carrying a load, like carrying a very big like burden on the shoulders. It can feel like as well, and. L-A-M-P, lamp, it does remind me of like um, holding a torch for you. Maybe at night putting on a lamp, reading a book, thinking about you. Maybe, maybe sitting in a lounge room or a bedroom with a lamp on and reading your text messages. There's something about the lamp. Amp, amplified, they want to have their message come loud and clear when they're coming through with a beautiful message for you. Uh, we've got lamb, so there could be lambs on someone's property. Uh, it could be the band, I think there's a band called Lamb as well. Um, yeah. 
bad. Yeah, someone feels very bad right now. And we've got the map. So it f looks to me like some of you are at a distance from each other. So they are, you know, trying to work out how they can navigate their way towards you or you to them. And Pam is a name here, Pam. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, my flash is gone. Believe it or not, this is crazy. Uh, bow. So they might want to give you a gift with a bow on it. You might get a gift with a bow on it. Someone might have a bow and arrow like like archery. We did see the Sagittarius before too. They want to blow you a kiss. And um, yeah, they just, they feel like they really, really miss you. They just really miss you. We've got D-Y-U-H uh, there, Q-P-A-M-B-L-O-W. And I'm going to get some angel numbers, okay? I'm really sorry that this is blurred, uh, blurred and also that the... the uh, Oh gosh, the light has gone, but I'm just going to quickly get these, okay? 70, this is the angel numbers. 7, 707, and we got a number 1. 7071, just going to get my angel book, wherever it is. Here it is. So we're going to look at the number 70 for you. And it says here, cosmic energy is surrounding you at this time. Know that God is waiting for your intentions to be clear in order to support their manifestation. And we've got 707. Which says here, God has heard your prayers and wants you to know that the miracles you need to be in alignment with your highest goodness and truth are coming your way now. Enjoy the magic. So beautiful. And we got 71, which says you are being invited to get clear about what you want instead of focusing on what you don't want. Write down your intentions and allow God in to help, which is a really awesome message. You know, when you write down things that you really want to happen rather than thinking about the things you don't want, what we focus on comes about. That's how we manifest things as well. So it could be that you want to both, you know, write down the things that you do want, put it in a like a God box or a prayer box um, and or a wish box, whatever you want to call it. Um, and set the intention, okay? You can do a, like a light a candle, uh, set the intention into the candle while you're writing things as well. Uh, you can do that. So I hope this has resonated today, guys. Um, I always enjoy doing these readings with you. I'm just going to get another very quick message from the masculine. He says, you are the answer to my whole life. Am I good enough for you? And I worship your perfection. So he really doesn't feel good enough yet for the Divine Feminine. And she says, I am so lost in the ocean that is you. I have been watching you from a distance. So she's doing the same. And I am battling my demons right now. Yeah, they're both mirroring each other in so many ways here. Anyway, guys, I want you to take care of yourselves. Take care. Look after yourselves. And we will uh, connect with each other next week. Uh, and do another Twin Flame Tarot. And um, yeah, love and blessings to you all, guys. Mwah.